My name is George Carbus, wild ocean photographer. I love photographing landscapes, seascapes, wildlife. My style of photography would be, I always go for best light, best action, best possible moments. Currently, I have a chance to test this beautiful ZFC camera. For me, this camera is kind of camera which can hang on your neck all the time. It looks good, it's small, it's portable, and I'm not missing those beautiful family moments. When I'm setting up this camera, I'm setting up this exactly like my Z7 II, Z6 II. So I like to go to manual mode. I like to have a control where my shutter speed is and where my aperture is. And most of the situations I leave on auto ISO. Since the mirrorless game, I love how quickly you can snap the shot. I love how quickly and perfectly you can frame your shots using framing through LCD instead of looking into the viewfinder. And shooting on auto ISO, it's so comfortable. You don't have to be worried about your exposure. You just dial in what you want from shutter speed and what you want from F number, and the camera do that for you. So most of the situations, the focusing system works really well, especially eye detection, people face detection, animal eye detection. I love those features and our biggest task these days is really just frame properly, use the right lens and capture the moment. When it comes to action, to capture the right moment is so crucial and more pictures per second you can provide, the better it is. If it's fast action, you really, really appreciate those functions. Today we were photographing our son Joshi when he was skateboarding. So we set the shutter speed high. In our scenario it was 1000. My F number was 3.5. I set everything manual except the ISO. I love to shoot manual with auto ISO and uh, yeah, we put the burst mode so it was shooting 11 pictures per second. I love the very angle tilting screen, gives you great uh, options for different angles. You can go low, you can go high. For this kind of action shot, it's great fun. There was a one uh, part of the pump truck where Joshi provides beautiful carve. That was the scene that I wanted to capture. And the light was really backlit and there was like fresh spring leaves just coming out from the tree which was in front of the truck. So I wanted to frame Joshi going through the carve and frame him into those fresh leaves. So. I didn't want to disturb the autofocus too much, so I know where I'm gonna stand. I know where Joshi will be passing, so I focus on that location, switch to manual, and then I didn't have to be worried that autofocus gets disturbed by moving leaves. And I was just f focusing to have a beautiful framing of those leaves and Joshi be in the middle. One of the shots I got was uh, pretty amazing, really phenomenal shot. I'm pretty stoked about that. Now we took it into beautiful Bluebell Forest with the family and our daughter Natalie was posing with her beautiful rabbit in the Bluebells, light was magic. We put the 28 millimeter prime lens there. So I wanted a little bit of shallow depth of field so that the Bluebells kinda have a nice little bokeh. Then we switched to 1650. We checked the animal eye tracking focus on our dog and it was pretty impressive. We got some beautiful results there. The very angle LCD is super handy. I like to play with angles. That's really my style of photography. So it suits me a lot. You see actually the, the exposure. You don't have to be worried you're blowing things out or it's too dark. If something is not in focus, you just touch on it and it's in focus. So it's brilliant. We are at our favorite spot outside the bay where we come in to see the dolphin which we know for 17 years. It's a huge part of our story 
huge part of my photography. Today we have a beautiful conditions, sea is pretty calm. Now the plan is to get my wife Kate in the water with the dolphin. So photographing on the water surface, especially in the sea, it's always challenging for the tracking autofocus system of the camera. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to test it out. Today we put uh, 50 to 250 zoom lens, which is really nice range. 50 is a classic portrait lens, so you can go from portrait into the pretty impressive zoom. 250 is already long range enough where you can actually photographing far distance animals and people, so it's a great range. We are lucky today. I'm going to try to get those lovely moments when the dolphins stick a head outside the water, maybe jump. We have a bright day, so I will put a 500 shutter speed. The F number for about a 6.3. 6.3 aperture is good enough to capture even if Kate will be, let's say, half a meter behind the dolphin, I will get both of them um, sharp enough. And the ISO, I have an auto today which really helps so i'm shooting on manual mode just to make sure the shutter speed and the f number is exactly what i want and i leave the camera to decide which iso to use because i'm pretty confident it doesn't go too high because it's a pretty bright day when i'm around the sea i like to use polarizer even in for, for my landscapes Polarizers reduce reflections. Let's say if we have a situation, dolphin stick head outside the water, there will be a reflection on her skin. If I put the polarizer in, there will be more details on the dolphin, same on the eye. So in this situation, polarizer would really help. It reduces the reflection in the sea. Let's say if you do seascapes, handheld, the clouds looks more vivid in contrast straight away. When Kate and the dolphin came to the shore, the 50 to 250 was a little bit too tight, so I changed my lens to 16 to 50 just to have a wider view on them and it, it worked just perfect. They were really close, so I was able to get a couple of shots to, to, of the entire body of the dolphin and Kate. With this portable camera, it, it's great to have um, those two lenses and it could sit in my pocket and I have this amazing range from 16 to 250. If you have 16 to 50 and then 50 to 50, you are pretty much set up for most of the situations which comes uh, as, a, as a photographer. So you can cover from 16 to 250 with a very lightweight setup. The practicing is the most important thing with anything we do. So snapping pictures is the best practice for anyone who wants to get better. And then once you get in a certain level, you can focus on different things and master, let's say, your composition, mastering your framing and choice lenses. Nikon ZFC, it's not just the second body camera, it's the camera for everybody.